dancer is the basic language for everything, dance and music. I mean, that's my joy. Uh, dancing is my joy. I'm a ballerina at 65. <laughs> Am I performing? No, but I do take class four or five times a week. I have a ballet bar in my home. I think, you know, what, war, what happens in our world is people get caught up on the food, people get caught up on the workout, people get caught up on right and wrong. And I think finding an emotional joy for yourself and all of it, and for me it's dancing. I'm not a go in the gym person, lift weights, you know. I mean, I do yoga for 35 years, I do Pilates, I do uh, a lot of other things, but dancing is my joy. I mean, uh, when I go to a class, it just makes my heart sing as much as my sprouts do, you know, as much as my prayer and meditation. So I think it's keeping all the balls up in the air at the same time that we as humans have as the challenge. You know, sometimes you're stronger in your workout, sometimes you're stronger in your food, sometimes you're stronger in your uh, spirituality, but it's keeping all the balls up and going at the same time that's the true work of being a human. It starts in the cradle you know you don't wait till they're teenagers but if you have waited and you're just getting involved yourself I think that self example is the best way to teach anybody anything and education and I, I think helping people to feel comfortable in their bodies and in their skins but allowing for whatever it's going to take to you know a little extra hairspray or makeup if the young girl wants to I wouldn't be so strict and so rigid either or yes or no uh, I think leading by example is probably the most important and direction by example.